Legionella pneumophila is an aerobic gram negative rod that is famous for causing an outbreak of pneumonia at an American Legion convention in Philadelphia uh, in 1976. This organism is ubiquitous in natural and man-made water environments. So it loves water, right? So aerosolized contaminated water is inhaled, resulting in infection. Sources that have been identified during outbreaks have included air conditioning systems, cooling towers, whirlpools. Outbreak have been associated with organism growth in shower heads and mist machines in supermarkets. Person-to-person -person transmission has not been demonstrated yet. This organism is a facultative intracellular parasite that settles in the lower respiratory tract and is gobbled or phagocytosed by macrophages. This means that once it has been phagocytosed, it inhibits phagosome lysosome fusion, surviving and replicating intracellularly. Right, so there are two things uh, interesting about this bacteria. Legionella pneumophila is a facultative intracellular parasite for free living amoebas like Negleria and Acanthamoeba. Legionella multiplies a thousandfold within amoebas, and when the amoeba insists in unfavorable condition, the Legionella is protected. Right, so when the conditions are favorable, the amoeba will release these Legionella bugs. Okay, so if you follow on the left here, you can see a single bacterium entering the amoebas. And then on the second picture, you can see like now they have multiplied. And last picture is a release, right? Okay. The second interesting thing about Legionella is that Legionella can enter a low metabolic state and can survive in a biofilm. Right. So disruption of the biofilm can result in massive release of Legionella into the water. Right. So there are two main diseases caused by Legionella pneumophila. Right. So the first one is called Pontiac fever. This one is less severe, right? Like influenza, this disease involves headache, muscle aches, fatigue, uh, followed by a fever and chills. Pontiac fever strikes suddenly and completely resolves in less than one week. Pontiac fever was so named for the illness that struck 95% of employees of the Pontiac, uh, Michigan County Health Department. The causative agent was identified as Legionella pneumophila carried by air conditioning system. Right, the more serious disease caused by Legionella pneumophila is called Legionnaire's disease, Legionnaire's disease, right? So patients develop very high fevers and a severe pneumonia. Legionella pneumophilia is a common cause of community acquired pneumonia, accounting for an estimated 0.5 to 10% of all admitted pneumonia cases, right? So 2% is likely the most accurate estimate. Right, so Legionella pneumophila causes a classic lobar consolidative pneumonia, right? And it looks like this. You can see uh, the arrows, right? So in, on this CT, uh, you can see consolidated, uh, consolidative lobar pneumonia, okay? Right, while it causes a classic lobar consolidative pneumonia that can be impossible to distinguish from pneumococcal pneumonia, there are a few unusual clinical elements, right? So they include the following. 
right? Fever with pulse temperature dissociations, right? That's high fever, low heart rate, uh, severe headaches, confusion, myalgia, that's uh, muscle X, and sometimes associated with rhabdomyolysis, so muscle breakdown, which will increase the level of serum, serum CPK and uh, myoglobin urea. And then the other thing is cough, right? So you find cough also in pneumococcal pneumonia. But in this case, only half of the time, the productive, uh, uh, I mean, the coughing will be purulent, right? Okay, and uh, another condition is hyponatremia, hypophosphatemia, and elevated liver enzymes like AST, ALT, LDH. Diarrhea and abdominal pain may also occur. Uh, sometimes the systemic symptoms like fever, myalgia, confusion, abdominal pain, and diarrhea precedes the lung symptoms leading to misdiagnosis of influenza or acute abdomen. Right, let's talk about treatment. So to kill this bacteria, the antibiotic has to be concentrated uh, inside a cell, the macrophage, where the legionella is hiding. So uh, antibiotics like beta-lactams and aminoglycosides do not do this well. So uh, we mainly use uh, the following for treatment of legionella infections. Macrolides like erythromycin, azithromycin, clarithromycin. Tetracyclines like doxycycline, quinolones like ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin, and moxifloxacin. Right, so these drugs, these macrolides, tetracyclines, quinolones, uh, they have an atypical coverage since they cover the atypical mycoplasma, right, mycoplasma, uh, legionella, chlamydia, uh, which in addition to viral pneumonia, all of these cause atypical pneumonia, right? It's called atypical uh, because like a penicillin didn't work uh, in treatment of the pneumonia caused by this these bugs, right? Uh, and also, we should uh, attempt to determine the source of infection, right? Okay. So, as usual, we are going to conclude with an overview, right? So, this is very important. Legionella pneumophila is a gram-negative rod, uh, right? So, in, in the algorithm that we have been using, in this video, we have seen that it's not there because, like, uh, sometimes it's not classified like under uh, gram negatives because it poorly stains with gram staining, right? So what do we use? We use silver staining, right? This bacteria grows on charcoal yeast extract medium with iron and cysteine. Uh, the, a very common test for this bacteria is urine test, right? So we can detect a presence of antigen in urine. Uh, the lab may also show hyponatremia, I told you, and also about transmission from, uh, envi from environmental water source habitat, like air conditioning systems or water tanks. Outbreaks are associated with cruise ships, nursing homes, and there is no person-to-person -person transmission. Treatment, uh, macrolides, quinolones, tetracyclines. Right, so to remember the first part, uh, like in terms of staining and media, right, you need to remember this statement. Think of a French legionnaire, right, a soldier uh, with his silver helmet sitting around a campfire charcoal uh, with his iron dagger, and he is missing his sister. Right, so one more time. Think of a French legionnaire soldier with his silver helmet, silver for silver staining, right, sitting around a campfire, right, campfire charcoal, right, charcoal yeast extract medium, and uh, with his Iron dug, iron is also needed. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't indicate it in red, right? Iron. 
uh, and he is missing his sister, the sustain. Uh, yeah, so sustain is a very important amino acid which should be included in this culture, right? And about the diseases, right? So you remember Legionnaire's disease, which is a severe pneumonia, often unilateral lobe, right? It may also include uh, fever, GI and central GIT, gastrointestinal tract, and central nervous system symptoms. And the risk factors include old age, tobacco smoking, chronic lung diseases. And a less severe one is spondiac fever associated with mild flu-like symptoms. Right? If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Right? Uh, if you feel like the information we are sharing on this channel is very important, please subscribe. Until next time, head bowed.